When you work with Sumo Simulator, you may have already noticed that Sumo installation comes up with a lot of Python scripts that will help you to get your tasks done easier. Of course, you can use command prompt or another similar tool like that to call these Python scripts and pass different input arguments and get the results that you need. But when you work with larger projects, this method can become a bit tedious. Instead, a better option would be to use an IDE or Integrated Development Environment and use Python together with Sumo to get these tasks done easier. So in this video, we are going to look at how to uh, do a proper setup of these three tools, Sumo, Python and an IDE. As an IDE, we are using PyCharm. So let's see how this can be done. Right, so the first thing that we have to do is uh, we need to download Sumo. So let's search uh, to download Sumo and then uh, you get the first hit. So you go, you go there and download Sumo. Uh, so the latest version is 1.18. So you can click there to download it right so it's downloaded now and uh, you can uh, install it So we accept the uh, agreement and then uh, just click next and uh, install it. Right, so now Sumo is installed. Now if you want to check whether it's installed right uh, just open your command prompt and type sumo and it will show you the uh, version and some other uh, description of it. Right, so the next thing that we have to do is to install Python. So let's uh, go to the browser again and type download Python and let's go to the first hit that you get. So uh, the latest Python version is 3.11.5 but as, as of I'm recording this video. So let's download it. So then uh, double click and let's execute this file. Now here we need to uh, make sure that we need to uh, uh, check some settings uh, before installing. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to tick add python.exe to path. This enables python related path variables to be updated. And then uh, we'll go to the customized installation and click next. And then from here uh, we have to select install Python 3.11 for all users. Now you'll see the, uh, the installation location is uh, also changed. Now we can click install and install Python. Right, so this will take some time. All right, so Python is successfully installed. Now, if you want to check whether the Python is successfully installed, uh, go to command prompt and type Python space hyphen hyphen version. This should show the Python version that has been installed. All right, so the next thing that we have to do is to download an IDE uh, to work with Python. 
so uh, the ID that I prefer to go with is PyCharm so let's uh, search for install PyCharm and uh, go to the web page of JetBrains to download it so there are two versions uh, available in PyCharm uh, one is the free version one is a free version uh, and that is what we are going to install so the way that you can find it uh, inside JetBrains uh, might be a bit tricky so it could not be the exact way that I follow but uh, you should be able to find it uh, inside JetBrains so uh, the PyCharm community version is the one that we are going to download so you can download that and that will prompt to another screen and in on top you see the PyCharm professional don't download it it's just you have free 30 day free trial but uh, just download the uh, PyCharm community edition so let's download it uh, it will take some time for you to download the uh, exe file right so once it downloaded uh, you can simply execute and uh, install it uh, it's a very standard installation uh, just click next and uh, follow the steps Right, so this will again take some time to install. Right, so now uh, PyCharm is also successfully installed. Open PyCharm and see how we can work with it right so if you are working with PyCharm for the first time you will be seeing a window like this so uh, in order to work with a new uh, project so we can create a new project from here or else if you are working with uh, PyCharm for some time uh, then also you can create a project from by going to file and then click new project right so when you are working with a uh, project uh, it's advisable to work in a virtual environment so that is how we can set things up in in, in PyCharm right so first you need to create a, a location where you need to uh, create the virtual environment so it's uh, I'll create a new folder and then uh, I will point that as my location right so I have created a folder called sumo test and notice that I'm selecting new environment using virtual environment and then I'll be selecting the Python version that I installed so you can have multiple installations you can point to the uh, Python version that you want to work with right so once that is done I hit create and that will take some time to uh, make the necessary connections and create the project right so now the setup is pretty much done so uh, now we'll see uh, whether this is working as expected right so in order to do this uh, we need to first create a Python script right so you can go to a uh, new and create a Python file and let's give it a give it a name let's say test sumo now the use case that I'm going to test I will first show uh, that how that can be done using command prompt now in uh, sumo installation you will see a lot of Python scripts are installed that can be used for various purposes now I'll show one a particular uh, file like that called random trips so if I want to get the help 
or the, just to check the arguments of it you can run a command like this so this can be done in command prompt the thing that we are going to look uh, is that how we can do the same by running a python script right so that you don't have the difficulties certain difficulties that you may have when working with command prompt but uh, you can use uh, a python id and run python script to do this so for this we need to uh, have the sub process library which you can use to create new processors connect to their input and outputs and retrieve their return codes or output from a process right so i'll create a variable called uh, random trips help and i'll type the same exact uh, argument that i uh, typed as a string right so random trips Py, that is this Python script that I'm calling from Sumo, and then I want to get the help, right? So I write exactly type the same thing, and now I run this through sub process module, right? So I use the sub process method called run, and then pass this uh, variable that I created called random trips uh, help, and then I need to pass another argument called shell equals true, right? So now i can right click and uh, run this script right so now when you run this you will see in in your python uh, console you'll get the output right so pretty much exactly same thing that we do with command prompt now we can do with python so this test uh, helps you to make sure that the uh, setup that you created so far is working fine so in this video we looked at how to properly set things up in order to work with your sumo simulation project so we looked at in detail how to install uh, these three different softwares which is sumo python and pycharm and how to properly set them up to work in your simulation project i hope you found this video useful thank you for watching